some point in your life, you learned about the three primary colors. Oh, there are three primary co Perhaps from these guys, OK Go. But probably it was in school, and probably it was in relationship to mixing colors together. You were told you can take red paint and mix it with yellow paint and get orange, or you can take your colored pencils and you can mix your blue and your yellow and get green. I love these guys. So this works in the real world. Does it work for digital images too? Sort of, it does. So anytime you have a screen, a, a phone, a computer, on the screen you need some way of changing the color of the light that the device is emitting at the right location to the right color, right? So how does this work? Well, if we know that an image is made of pixels, which we know, an image is made up of these tiny little squares of, of color, each one having its own specific unique color, then we know, then we have to answer this question, how, how does that color come about? Like, how can we actually do this? And here's how it works. Whoops, whoops. It's almost the same as mixing colors of colored pencils and paint, except instead of mixing these mediums, colored pencils together, we mix colors of light. And we use red, blue, and green light, mix those together, and we get to see millions of colors. Our eyes think it's millions of colors when they're mixed together. Watch. This is Wikipedia. It's actually a close-up of Wikipedia. You can see the logo, the wiki, is black. And the white of the background, when we zoom all the way in, we see a tiny red light, a tiny green light, and a tiny blue light in every square. But look at this. This is a familiar cursor. I want you to squint your eyes a little bit. And notice that when you do that, that outline of the arrow suddenly becomes white. Same thing, another familiar character. Here's Mario. You squint a little bit. You can start to see that the background is the blue aquamarine kind of color, and uh, Mario's iconic hat is red. Look closely now at the pixels, and you can see that there are still those three lights, red, green, and blue, but you can actually see that the pixels around the, the red hat have the red lit up and not the blue and green, and the pixels in the background do not have the red light lit up, just more like the blue and green. Look around here, look at this image, and you can start to see that the different levels of light of each of these three start to create different colors. So how does this actually work? Well, you can turn up the brightness of the red, and you can turn down the brightness of the green, and so on, vice versa. And watch what happens. This is a website called Adobe Color, uh, and you can go and play on this website as well. And over here on the very far left-hand side, I, I can move these, these panels up, and I'll move my red light all the way up. And now I've turned, essentially, my red pixel all the way up, while my green and my blue are still at zero. And as I do that, I get this brighter, keep getting brighter and brighter and brighter red. So I've done that across here. I have a red, a fully red color, and then a fully blue color, and then a fully green color over here. And at the end, on the uh, far right-hand side, I started to play with these. So here I can drag this red pixel down. There's still a little bit of red light in there, uh, but more green and even more blue, and have this nice light blue color. The more you turn on the lights, the brighter and the closer to white the color becomes. The more you turn them off, the darker and the closer to black the color becomes. Isn't that cool? Now you know how to make your favorite color in RGB color.